Hello and welcome back and here we are at the Minis Forum stand, a brand that we've been covering here on the channel for a while. Now a lot of the things we can see here we've already discussed on the channel at some decent length but there is some interesting stuff on the way. We've already talked about this device here, the MS-01, probably one of my favourite workstations and has actually been integrated into our own workstation environment. Coming a bit closer Eddie. Um, but we're going to be talking about this one very soon. This is the MSA-1. It is a different kind of workstation system. It doesn't feature the 10 GBE of its predecessor, but it makes up for it in a number of different ways. And probably one of the main ways, at least in terms of bespoke DIY deployment, and particularly now we're talking more and more, and I know a lot about AI processes, but this is Oculink enabled. So that means we can really take advantage of some fun little accessories here. Now, of course, many PC users are going to enjoy this, but NAS users that want to integrate external GPUs or other beefier PCIe cards are going to welcome this. For example, this is an external Oculink PCIe deployment module here. You're going to extra power input there for the cards that need it, and that is delivered there via an Oculink port there on the side. We will be talking about this very, very soon. But it beefs up significantly when we're looking at ready built this is the r3 gaf or the rough graph and this is an external gpu box and again oculink allows you to bolster your system significantly now this doesn't just extend to ai applications you can go down the road of virtual machine deployment aggressive vm deployment as well and really super size things up and when that a1 as you can see here is running on that ryzen 7 uh, cpu there with integrated graphics on board and gen 4 nvmes there's a lot of fun to be had. Remember, there are four NVMe supported on that system. So, of course, I'm going to be talking a lot more about this system deployed as a NAS because I think there's some real powerhouse stuff there to play with. But before we end, but this one here is the UH125 Pro. Now, this runs, as we can see here, on an ultra processor. We've been hearing a lot about the ultra processors here at the trade show having enhanced AI support there. And this is another example of that with Gen 4 architecture inside, meaning you can get some super fast NVMEs inside, a couple of 8, 16 TB to play with there on that small little deployable VM module. Now, just here at the end, just to let you know things are still on the up and up, this is a 2 times Gen 4 NVMe water-cooled system. It's the same footprint, at least on the desk space, as we found with the other machines over there, but it factors in aggressive water cooling. Arriving with 2.5 GBE on the back and more, this is an interesting little device here for those that are going to be taking those in uh, Gen 4x4 SSDs right the way up to the top. It's a lovely little setup there, and it's just another example of how this brand is really, really spreading its muscles in the whole mini PC game. I do tend to throw around the term fake nook quite a lot, but I will say that these are some seriously impressive little mini PCs, which let's frankly call them that insane workstations. And finally, last but not least, just as I was leaving the stand, I saw this, the S100 from Minis Forum. This is a PoE-powered mini PC, rocking out the gate with the N100, quad-core CPU, 2.5 GBE, USB power on the rear, a microphone built in and speaker, as well as USB 3.2 Gen 2 port and an HDMI output. This is an incredibly low footprint mini PC. I'm hoping to get my hands on at some point just to see if that M100 can run Unraid and or TrueNAS on a PoE deployable system, but with only 256 gig internal storage, question marks. Let's move on.